delicious on your plate, but on your face, not so much. Each sugar spike caramelizes your collagen through a process called glycation, and that is the stiffening of the very fibers that keep it springy, bright, and lifted. So scientists call it glycation. I call it caramelizing your face from the inside out. And what's the result? Collagen that was once bouncy and spring-like turns really brittle. Your skin starts to sag, wrinkles etch in deeper, pigment builds. It's like the scaffolding that's holding up your skin starts to slowly fall apart. And every soda or donut that you consume speeds it right along. AGEs cross-link and harden around that dermal matrix, driving sagging, fine lines, sallowness, and stubborn pigmentation. Measurable AGE buildup increases with age and metabolic stress. Two accelerants that most people don't think about are dry heat cooking. Examples, frying, grilling, roasting can boost AGE's content in your food 10 to 100 fold versus raw or moist heat methods or moist cooking methods. Quick tip here, squeezing lemon or vinegar on your food can hold AGEs down. And then to make things worse, add a sweet sauce on your meat. So anytime you brush those sweet sauces on your meat, your AGEs are through the roof. And that's the fast track to wrinkles, faster than laying out in the sun. Bottom line, the more sugar and simple carbs you eat, the faster you age. Before we move on to solutions, I'd like to bust the myth about calories. A lot of people still think that as long as you control your calories, if you're in a calorie deficit, then you're going to be pursuing health. That is not true. If you, let's say, only consume 700 calories in a day and all of those calories are high in fructose, you are completely damaging your metabolism, your health, your skin, and so on. Versus you could be consuming a lot more calories, so let's say 1,000 versus those 700 um, and that's through protein 30% of that thousand calories is gonna go just to digest that protein and plus you're getting amino acids that are gonna be rebuilding your collagen versus breaking it down and so not all calories are equal the quality of the food and the timing and even the sequence in which you eat can have a huge impact on your metabolism, on your health, and of course, on your skin. So to prevent glycation, here's what you need in every meal. Obviously, you want to watch your portions. You want protein in every single meal. You need fiber, which slows down digestion, preventing sugar spikes. And you need to keep those carbohydrates, simple carbs, to an absolute minimum if you want to hold on to that nice firm skin. The issue with glycation isn't just the buildup um, around your proteins and the stiffening, but there is systematic inflammation that's unleashed on your entire system and also oxidation, which can lead to pigmentation and other skin issues. So here is how to decaramelize your skin. Choose low glycemic, high protein meals that always include fiber. Go for a 10 to 20 minute walk right after you eat because that can blunt that sugar spike. Make sure your meals include lots of nutrients. A lot of us are overfed and undernourished. So when your body is not getting the nutrients that it needs, it will continue to be hungry and starve for more. Never skip a day without taking your magnesium because that's a big blood sugar stabilizer. Cinnamon is a blood sugar stabilizer. Zinc supports that collagen repair. So any glycation that you've already done, all of that damage that you've done, zinc can start helping you repair it. Side note on the zinc, you don't wanna overdo it. You don't wanna take it for prolonged periods of time because it can blunt your absorption of copper. So you always want to monitor your blood levels anytime you're supplementing with minerals. And you've probably heard of metformin, that's the medication that they give diabetics to manage their insulin levels. Berberine happens to be the alternative, or they call it the poor man's metformin. This is one that I consume if I was to indulge, so let's say I'm going out for dinner and I know I'm gonna have dessert and so on, I will make sure that I take my berberine with me. Load up on your collagen, especially if you've created that glycation, if you've had less than ideal diet, taking collagen and the precursors to collagen, which I talk about all the time, those are your minerals and your vitamin C, they help you replenish, they help you synthesize new collagen that's more supple, pliable, and not as damaged as the one you already have. 
you're going to need some high quality omega-3 fatty acids to curb that inflammation and make your cell membranes more flexible and more supple. I've come across a study that talks about vitamin B3 and how phenomenal it is in reversing glycation. And guess what are some derivatives of vitamin B3? You have niacinamide, you have NMN and NR. All of these ingredients have been super popular in the last few years and for good reason. Not only they're gonna help you with glycation, but they're also gonna help boost the NAD, your master energy centers of the body. The enzyme that's critical for energy production in your cells. Now let's talk about those topicals that are gonna help us reverse some of that glycation to a degree. We can do a lot more internally than externally, but skincare can definitely help. And we want to make sure that we're putting that bounce back in the skin with proper moisturization. Niacinamide again has been shown to reduce skin yellowing, which is generally a visible sign of glycation. And then of course we want good old moisture and that's not through using petrolatum or mineral oil based moisturizers. Those are going to give you that band-aid effect. They're not going to go into the skin help you with anything. They're just going to clog up your pores, give you the illusion of moisture. You need high quality oils. You need high quality oils, not beef tallow. That's not going to cut it. We want oils like jojoba, like argan and so on. They are rich in ceramides, fatty acids. They absorb, give you a lot of nutrients without clogging pores. I curate my top clean choices that are compatible with all skin types on my website, thebeautydoctrine.com. Whatever you do, don't go oil free. Don't go really light. You want your skin to be supple 24 seven so you can reverse the effects of that glycation and maintain that suppleness in your collagen and your elastin. And never skip that mineral tinted sunscreen. It doesn't matter what the weather is. I'm looking out my window right now. It's really cloudy. You cannot see the sun. And yet I have two layers of tinted SPF on and a hat because I'm sitting under these bright lights because it's kind of gloomy. I need a lot of light in my house and that's why I have a hat. So the hat is not just for the sun, it's also to protect my face from blue lights and they create those AGEs topically in the skin. Now let's talk about fasting, intermittent fasting that is. I'm going to dedicate the next video to it, but it is really important in the conversation of glycation and to help get rid of those AGEs in the skin, think of fasting as a rest day for your skin. It gives your cells time to clear out those damaged protein through a process called autophagy. That's the body's recycling system and one of the most powerful ways to start reversing aging. Now, I know how hard it is to change our lifestyle. I have a sweet tooth myself. I get cravings. I'm going like I'm energizing bunny all day and then in the evening when I'm really tired and you know trying to rest in front of TV or whatever, I get the munchies. The way that I get around this is I try to have the first two meals of the day, breakfast and lunch, as close to ideal as possible. So I have a lot of willpower then. I have good high quality protein. I have a lot of veggies and so on. In the evening when I have less willpower and I want to munch on something sweet, I have something that I already made. Once a week I'll do like a little batch of cookies or brownies, whatever it is that I want to make, but with a sweetener that's not sugar, something that's not going to increase my blood sugar levels. I created a guide about sweeteners specifically that compares all of the different, you know, sugars and sugar substitutes. So you can select one that works for you. All you need to do is comment sweet and I'll be happy to send it to you. Takeaway, your skin eats what you eat. Feed it sugar and it stiffens. Feed it protein, minerals, and vitamins, and it regenerates. The choice is yours, and of course, I'm here to point you in the right direction. I have a couple courses on my website that can teach you how to eat right for your skin, and they give you ideas and recipes to truly help you understand nutrition specifically for health and for skin. If you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe. Please become a member also to support The Beauty Doctor and all the research that we do here. Our members also get exclusive access access to replays of all of our webinars and live streams. 
I will link up product recommendations down below, but you can also find them directly on thebeautydoctrine.com. Until the next video, be well, be safe, be beautiful, take care.